quality training that is needed for our country. So before I continue saying anything, I just want to say on behalf of the Liberian Land Authority, particularly the Chairman uh, Anthony J. Adam Moniba, and all the commissioners that form the Liberian Land Authority, thank you for the fact that this institution has given us the opportunity to be able to acquire the knowledge that we will be able to take back home and bring some changes in our country. Uh, what is amazing and very impressive is that most of the instructors that taught us during this course of the two weeks are all young people, smart people, friendly, and they make our lessons so simple and easy for us to understand. It is something that we are very much happy of and we cherish that. Dr. Emmanuel Nkuruziza, uh, yes, please forgive me. For, for it. I just want to say thank you for the fact that you have opened your arms, your staff has opened your arms to welcome us. And I, for me, I told some of my staff, the two weeks is too limited because we're enjoying the courses already and we want to go and at least spend more time. But because of the situation that has been set up and the schedule that has been set up by our authority, we cannot change the fact. Nevertheless, this is an opening door for us. Uh, the discussion that was held by our chairman, Dr. Moniba, he said that this is an open door, even though he's thinking, I think he has already discussed with you and the team here, to see how Liberia can be part of this institution. And we are looking forward to that. On behalf of the team that are here, I just want to say thank you to the administration, to the leadership of this institution. And believe me, we'll be in touch and y'all will definitely see the impact that we carry on or we bring into Liberia land sector. So I just want to say thank you very much for the teaching and to all of the staff that taught us, I say thank you, uh, Asante Sana. Thank you very much. You. Yeah. A very engaging week uh, where we're discussing the status of the institution and the future work we are going to be doing. But also when we had an opportunity for you to meet, uh, because uh, when we were discussing our reports, we did mention the district that is going on, uh, because our closure coincided with the completion of the training, we thought it is a good opportunity to have uh, this get together. So as Samuel has said, uh, we were privileged to host the chairman of the Liberia National Land Commission, uh, Manoba, I, I know Adams, but I think I, I, I tried to also recall his other name, uh, Manoba. So they spent a week here uh, with one of the directors from the Liberian Land Authority, and they were able to discuss at length uh, the path they are on in their uh, land reform program and how we can be able to assist. Uh, of course, we had not met, but when uh, he came to see us, he was able to mention they were aware, uh, maybe for the librarians, there's the PS from Rwanda. They were particularly aware of the work we were able to do in Rwanda. And they, when they tried to visit, they were informed that we are actually here. So that's the route that brought them to the regional center and were able to engage in those discussions. So in the discussions we had, we could be able to identify the path they are on and we said we are waiting to journey with you. Our member states have different uh, activities that they are undertaking, the experiences you can be able to benefit from. Uh, we have Kenya that has just gone digital. We have Uganda that has uh, established uh, uh, electronic systems. We have other approaches in different categories in our member states. So you coming here and picking on these experiences would really enhance uh, what you're doing. Maybe one important uh, anecdote that uh, came through our discussion, you all know Liberia is, one, is the first actual republic on the continent in 1840 something. Sorry? 1847. 1847. And uh, when they established the country, if you learn from the 
from the their history, uh, it's, it, it resonates with some of our countries as well. So we didn't really share only the geodesy and other things. We were able to share also the different path our countries are on, the cultures, etc. So these people have been here over the past two weeks, but we always assure them that as RSMLD, we are not for profit organization. Much as we require facilitation, we are available post this training. I invite you to connect with the trainers and I invite them to be responsive to you when you approach them as you go back to apply the knowledge you have gotten from here. So we are not closing today. We are building a long-term engagement. And maybe, yes. I'll be, I'm in constant communication with Adams uh, in terms of uh, what is going on here and what is going to happen in the future. And maybe even before I convey to him, the message of the desire to join the center, I convey to the chair and the team. And I wish to say they are positive. We'll continue engaging, but the response I have from them is a positive one. We are a Pan-African institution and they are willing to welcome any African country that would want to join the fraternity. So thank you very much really for being attentive and following your studies. We've not had one single problem from this year. Let me now talk like a headmaster since we are at graduation. We have had diligent, well-behaved, hardworking students, and most important of all, they all passed with flying colors and they received their certificates. So I thank you, Chair. I hand over to you for your remarks and then help in giving the certificates to our trainees. We are the governing council of the RCMRD. The governing council is made up of the uh, permanent secretaries. Other countries are called principal secretaries. Other countries are called uh, director generals. I don't know what um, the position is uh, called in your country. And we are a 20-member state. And we hope in the near future will be 21, 22, 23. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've just uh, concluded uh, our 55th uh, meeting, 55, as the governing council. And it is a pleasure um, that we see what we are discussing every year being uh, fruitful. You're coming here to learn from the regional center is one of the fruits of the things that we discuss as the governing council. And we appreciate uh, DG and his staff that the resolutions that we come up with uh, in, the, in our meetings, that we see them being implemented. And thank you very much, uh, uh, Liberia, for showing interest to come and learn from the regional center. And as DG has said, and the dear delegates here, members of the governing council, are my witness that we have all said, yes, Liberia, you are welcome to join the regional center. <laughs> so we are looking uh, forward uh, to you being uh, one of us. And I will encourage you that uh, you say uh, the services of the center, even if you overtake all of us who have been here for more than 20 years, do so. You are not limited as to how much uh, you can use the center, the services that you can, uh, um, you, you have access to, uh, just uh, the door is open. And it is our desire as uh, the governing council and working on behalf of the Council of Ministers to see uh, the land management sector in all our countries improving every day. So, thank you. Um, let me not say much, but just to congratulate you. I hear all of you have passed. Uh, congratulations, it means uh, you have been committed, and I want to thank uh, DG. I want to thank the uh, acting uh, director and all the staff working under you. Um, 
I heard from the leader of uh, the graduates um, that you have been uh, uh, very good with uh, the training. You know what you are doing and the way you um, have given out the training or the presentations, uh, um, it was easy for them to get the, princip the principles and understand them. So continue with the journey. We start with the meetings, we come up with the resolutions, the DG puts them in place, you are here, you are being trained, go and apply them in your country. Thank you, Thank you and uh, congratulations. <laughs> That is our host country, Permanent Secretary from the United Republic of Tanzania, Mary Makondo. <laughs> Permanent Secretary, Minister of Environment, Rwanda, Patrick Carrera. I invite you to Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent Secretary, Republic of Uganda. <laughs> Permanent Secretary, Kingdom of Lesotho. <laughs> Permanent Secretary, Malawi. And the delegation from Eritrea is interesting because Eritrea is not a member. They are here as observers with intention to join. So he heads the delegation from Eritrea. <laughs> so thank you very much. So I think uh, they will take us through the process of handing over the certificates for graduates. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair, uh, Governing Council. Thank you, members. Thank you, DG, for the inspiration of good uh, information you have given the graduates. I think now the next step is that I'll ask the chair to come in front and then we'll hand over the certificates. Eric W. Bunny. Eric W. Bunny. William Dunn. William Dunn. Don't, Jenny Maima Mitchell. <laughs> you can start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. I think I'm for the recording. So I told you. 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 Josephine L. Benson. <laughs> You're giving that it is. Samuel F. Kapaikio. Pakio. Alexander G. Arizona G. Babu, you strong, very mostly. Derek Duel or Duel? Uh -huh. Justino B. Joel. Mm. 
Charles N. Kotimai. <laughs> John P. De Young. William W. Gabel. <laughs> and Lincoln Gamadul Gabel. Alexander Pam Jimmy. Congratulations. And Jerry Rona Lord Kayeko. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you.